Why don't you take your sister to the vending machines and get something, okay? Okay. Thanks, Dad. One each, guys. Okay, Mom. <laughs> They're adorable. Thank you. How are you feeling since waking up? Tired. My body hurts everywhere. The doctors need to ask you some questions. Sonia, we need to figure out whether you may have been exposed to something. You think this is something I caught? There is an infection called endocarditis, which could explain your <coughs> symptoms. If there's been any, um, well, any intravenous drug use even months ago. You think I was shooting up? No, we're merely- I would to... never do that. I, I know I messed up yesterday, but I was only taking pills. I've... How long have you had these? The spider veins on your leg? Years, 10 years at least. My GP said they're nothing to worry about. You, you believe me, right? <laughs> what is happening to her? Okay, put your head back, put your head back for me, put your head back. What happened? We were prepping for her splenectomy when she started to seize. She seized? Why? We don't know. Well, we've stabilized her, but um, we can't remove the organ until we know what else we're dealing with. Okay, um, well, let's go back to the beginning. Mm. So, Sonia was in a car accident, but you wanted to rule out a brain injury. Well, no visible head trauma. Her respirate was low, which I mistook for symptoms of opiate use, and then heart and lung fluid almost killed her later that day. Her drug use raised the possibility of endocarditis, but she said she wasn't using intravenously. Which was confirmed by bacterial culture. Also, the CT scan of Sonia's head came back clear, so we know it's not a brain injury. Which leads us back to an underlying cause. It needs to be something physiologic. Sonia. An abnormality we're not seeing. Something something rare, something you wouldn't normally think to look for. Anywhere. There have been cases where a penetrating head trauma can cause an aneurysm months, even years down the road. I could have caused this, Dr. Bishop. With the drill, you mean? You told me it was reckless to drill without imaging. Bash! You saved his life because you did that. And there could be so many reasons this happened. Not the least of which is Bishop going back to work so soon after his accident. I mean, aneurysm could have sat there for months, a ticking time bomb in his head. Telangiectasia. The, the spider veins on, on Sonia's leg. And those almost always mean nothing. What are you thinking? You said something rare, something that you wouldn't normally think to look for, and you also said a ticking time bomb. You know what's wrong with her? I have a theory, but we're going to need more imaging to confirm. You saw the radiologist. You were right. An AVM? Arteriovenous malformation. It's a rare, abnormal connection between a person's arteries and veins. And this had nothing to do with her drug use. She was probably born with them. AVMs disrupt circulation and can cause a range of life-threatening symptoms. They can happen anywhere. In Sonia's case, we identified one in her lungs and one on her spine. But it's the kind of thing you don't even know to look for until the other symptoms develop. She's gonna need a surgical procedure called an embolization. Wait, you, you said she's got one of these things on her spine. Could it have caused her back pain in the first place? It's possible, even likely. You couldn't have known. Yeah, but I stopped believing in her. I, I stopped trusting her. Her condition is serious, but it is treatable. The surgery will last a few hours. If you need some time to take your children home, we'll call you after. We're not going anywhere. Is that for her? Wait here. BP's checking. She's tachycardic. Ultrasound. Eggs? Yeah. How many times can one woman crash? Where are you on this patient? She's got multiple AVMs. We can embolize them, but she's not stable enough. She's got blood from her spleen in her abdomen. Call OR. Yeah. She's going into hemorrhagic shock. She needs her spleen out stat. We can't lose her now. We finally know what's wrong with her. And if she bleeds out because we punctured her spleen, then Dr. Bishop. It's on the line. OR says 10. She may not have 10. Then we do it ourselves. In trauma. You've removed a spleen before, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what are we waiting for? She's bleeding out, Dr. Hammond, now or never. I'm ready. We're starting. Careful. BP's dropping. Activate MTP. Arnold, get the level one ready. Got it. Mags, help me open. 
They need two packs of red cells and two bags of plasma. She's got a significant amount of blood in her abdomen. I'm gonna need packs and a lot of them. Richardson. I'll eviscerate the bowel so you can start packing the abdomen. Start packing and keep them coming. Pressure's dropping. Clamp. I've got you. Where did you were awake? Apparently without a spleen, thanks to you. You can live without one. You'll just be more prone to infections, but you can take measures to mitigate that. You saved my life. And you found the reason for my back pain? I know I'll always be an addict. That doesn't mean you can't start over. And that's all I want to do. Beat this thing for my family. Mm -hmm.